guys, so for today's video I'm going to be doing my February favorites for this month, which is February, obviously. But I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it because I tend to ramble and these videos, like favorites videos, are normally generally long and I don't want to make it any longer than it has to be. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into the makeup section. So I'm going to start with things that are like eyeshadows, like things you would put on your eyelids, you know what I'm talking about. The first thing is a Maybelline color tattoo, and this is the one in Bad to the Bronze, number 25, and these are literally my loves. These are just so easy when you were like late for school or you are running out the door, you can just swipe this on your finger, put it on your lid, and you are good to go. And my cat is meowing. What? Anyways, she likes to talk, so you might hear her. But these are just so easy and so simple and just so useful that I just, I can't get enough of these. And this, okay, she's insane. This, this color in particular, Bat to the Bronze, is the one I find myself trying to use the most just because I think it works best with my blue eyes. Golds, bronzes really look best on blue eyes. So I really like this one. I will do a close up of it so you can see it. So this is the Bad to the Bronze color. It is so beautiful as you can tell. It just is so creamy. Excuse my ugly nails. And just, ooh, okay. So pigmented and just so beautiful. It just looks amazing on your lid. But it is just the most beautiful, beautiful color. It just, it just works. Like, people will think you spent 10 minutes on your eyeshadow when you really probably only spent 30 seconds. So these are really nice and really affordable cream eyeshadows that are just perfect for just if you are a very busy girl. The next thing is a eyeshadow palette. I found myself using this a lot recently this month and I've had it for a while now. I just guess I really didn't tend to gravitate towards it, but this month I have and you know, I can't really give you a good reason why, but it is the Lorac Pro Palette. I have just fell back in love with this palette. Excuse its messiness. It is definitely a well-loved palette. It is just I, I think the colors in here are just so perfect, like if you are a neutrals kind of girl, this is like perfect for you, like this is, I just, I love this palette so much, I think that ever since like all of the naked palettes, oh my voice, ever since all of the naked palettes came out, those have been all the hype, but when, but when Lorac came out with their Lorac 1 and 2 Pro palettes, I think, I think those are what they are called. I mean, I know there's a second one, but I don't really know what it's called because I don't have it and I just like yanked out my hair. But these are what the colors look like. They are just so versatile and they're just, they're perfect. I mean, you have your light pinks, you have your crease taupe browns. You have your dark browns, you have your black, you have your silvers, your golds, your purples, your, you know, everything. You have bronze. It's just, this palette is beautiful, and I just love this palette. The specific colors I have been loving, which I will do a close-up of, are light bronze, gold, champagne, and mauve. Those are definitely my favorite colors to be using right now. So you should really check out this palette. So here's the Lorac Pro palette up close. It's obviously very dirty and nasty, but these are the colors if you wanted a better look at them. So the first one that I really liked was light brown, and it is just a very beautiful champagne color as you can see. The next one I really liked was gold. It is just a very beautiful kind of gold color. The next one I liked was champagne, which is right here. Just a really nice champagne color. And the last one I liked was mauve, which is up here. Just a really nice mauve color that you can put in your crease. Next for the eyes, I probably should have mentioned before I mentioned the eyeshadow, 
because it is an eye primer for your eyeshadow. But this is just the Makeup Beauty Cosmetics Eye Primer, and it doesn't have a color. It is just an eye primer. But this is what it looks like. It's just in a little pot, and this stuff is amazing. Like, I love this stuff. This stuff is like the best thing I've ever tried. I sometimes wear it as an eyeshadow because it's just like that amazing. I just, I love it. It is just like a cream nude base that you sweep on your eyelids. It is so opaque, like you can't see anything. Like once you put this on, you can't see any redness, you can't see any veins. I would even use this as a concealer. Like it's that good. Like it, if you don't want veiny eyelids or red eyelids, <laughs> This is amazing, and it is so creamy, it is just perfect. The first things are two mascaras, and these are two mascaras that I have been loving. Like, loving. These things are amazing. I have never tried mascaras like this. Like, they are just... This is the drugstore amazingness option. This is the... <laughs> L'Oreal Miss Manga. I'm like waving it like a wand. This is the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara. It's amazing. Like, I have never tried a L'Oreal Ma a Lori. Oh my gosh, this is what happens when I get excited. I have never tried a L'Oreal mascara that is this amazing. Like, it is just the most beautiful thing on your lashes. Like, it just makes them so voluminous, so curled. So, like, you know, yeah, it just, it's amazing. Like, I love this stuff. And I'm actually out of it, but I wanted to be able to show you it. I need to go pick up another tube, like, ASAP. But this stuff is amazing. The brush is, like, insanely awesome. It's, it's just, I love this stuff. This this is by far the best drugstore mascara I have ever tried. And for the higher end, more expensive option, this is the Urban Decay Perversion. This mascara is just so like, hello, like I am here kind of mascaras. It is like the, okay, first of all, the one downside is that it's, that it's probably the wettest mascara I have ever tried. It is definitely very wet. So if you don't like wet mascaras, then stay away from this because it is definitely very wet. But it makes your lashes look unbelievably amazing. Like it just, you, people will think you have false lashes on. Like I'm not even kidding. This mascara, go get it. It's amazing. The next thing is my current eyeliner. I kind of go back and forth between eyeliners just because I'm kind of like, okay, whatever I see first I'm going to use. But this one, I'm almost out of. This is what I've been using for months now, and I love it. It is the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in black, and I have this much left, so I mean obviously not a lot, but it is the blackest of black mascaras. It is so creamy. And so like pigmented and it just stays it's not one of those I mean after a while obviously if you're like doing a bunch of stuff and you're I don't know crying this will you know fade from your lash line but this stuff if you like apply it right and you don't go cry your eyes out while watching a Nicholas Sparks movie this will stick to your eye like glue. This stuff is amazing, and it is super black, as you can see. I mean, I love me some black eyeliner. Like, it's just amazing. So, if you want a creamy, nice black eyeliner, this is the one to get. Next, I have something for your eyebrows. This is what I'm currently using. This is actually a little bit too light for me. I think when I get another one, because I'm almost out, I'm going to get medium. But this is the... Benefit Brow Pencil, Instant Brow Pencil. This is what, it's look, blah, blah, blah. This is what it looks like. It's double sided, has the pencil on one side, one, side, one side or end, whatever you prefer, so send. Um, and then the spoolie on the other side. That's a new word. But this is the light color. It is too light for me. It just, 
like I'm looking in the mirror and I think it matches like I mean like I'm looking and I feel like it really I'm like spot on with this but it just I it looks a little bit too light like in person like people are like I can feel like I'm like I can feel you looking at my eyebrows like stop but it's just like a little bit too light but these things are amazing yeah, yeah. I have some concealers I have two concealers I'm like waiting I'm getting tired but this first one is the Rimmel Hide the Blemish Concealer. I don't use this for blemishes because if I use something on a blemish, it's not going to make it go away. It's going to make it look worse. So I just use this in Soft Honey under my eyes. Works amazing. Really creamy. Rimmel did a great job with this concealer. I love it. It's nice and high coverage. And then to put on top of that to just kind of make it look brighter, you know, down under there, um, I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Okay, so moving on from the makeup section, the next section is just other stuff I have been loving that is not books, movies, stuff like that. It's like physical things that I have been loving. So the first thing is this mask. Okay, in my last video, which was my BoxyCharm February video, this was in there. Okay. This kind of scares me, or scared me, if I should talk in past tense, because I'm scared of putting things on my face, because honestly, my face hates me, and it likes to make me feel ugly by putting pimples all over my face. But this is amazing. I kind of feel like it's breaking me out a little bit more, but I'm not sure yet. It could just be because I'm hormonal, and I'm a teenage girl. But I'm going to keep testing with it and see if I turn into a giant red pimple. But this stuff from Moulin and Sparrow, this facial mask, this clay mask, is amazing. You just mix it with a little bit of water and you put it on your face, let it dry, wash off your skin. looks amazing. It brings everything to the surface. Like there's stuff in my skin that I never thought was in my skin and it horrifies me because this stuff really pulls it out. Clay is supposed to be amazing for your skin. I can second that. It's this... Don't put this on before you're about to go out somewhere because you might feel a little embarrassed because of all the stuff that has come out of your skin like I experienced. But this, if you put it on before bed, take it off before bed, sleep with your fresh clay mask face without the clay on it. I don't know what I'm saying. You will wake up and your skin will look amazing. This stuff is just, yeah, it's just, yeah. The next thing is what I've been using to make me smell good and this is the pink with a splash soft and dreamy body mist from Victoria's Secret. This stuff I've been using for a while now when I'm finally like getting down there, you know, like you know how you feel so accomplished when you've like finally started actually having it look like you've, you're finishing like a perfume? That's how I feel. Like I'm getting excited because I've been using this for probably almost a year and that's probably nasty. It's probably expired. But I'm just OCD so I can't change perfumes until I finish this. But this smells so good. Like this smells amazing like it just straight up smells like vanilla like if you were to pour vanilla extract all over your body this is what it smells like it smells really good next i have a dry shampoo warning about this dry shampoo fair fair warning i like this dry shampoo it works makes my hair look good makes it not look oily but there is one thing about this dry shampoo that is a total disappointment. It smells horrible. Now, I don't, I'm not a person who will throw out a bottle of this because it smells bad. I will use it until it's gone, but I will not go out. It smells really bad. Um, it's just the CG Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Sh 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 Dry Spray Shampoo. Um, it has no white powder residue, which is good. It cleans and refreshes, which is probably true. Like, it does. Like, it cleans your hair. 
but it just doesn't smell good. And I mean, that's the problem with a lot of dry shampoos. They don't smell good, but they do the job. So if you don't mind that, then pick it up. It, it works good, but I mean, the smell. I just, I can't get over the smell. Like, I've had nightmares about the smell. Lastly, for these physical non-beauty favorites, I have, I'm trying not to let it drip everywhere. Um, this is the Cleaning Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub. This stuff is amazing. I can't. Like, I... It's so good. It leaves your face feeling like you just rubbed it with oranges. Like, it just feels so good. Afterwards, I just feel like a new person. Like, I was reborn. Like, this stuff gets the acne off of your face. Go get this. This helps with acne. Go get it. It really does. I had worse acne than this, which is probably really surprising. But it works. Like, this is a miracle in a bottle. I love it. It works really good. And it smells amazing. So that's just kind of my favorites. I don't have any books or movies because honestly this video is getting kind of long and I'm getting kind of hungry so I don't really want to mention anything else. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this really long video. Thank you for sticking around if you did. My next video is going to be very fun. I have planned a very fun video that I'm going to start filming ASAP because it's going to take a while to film and edit. It's like one of those videos, like it's probably going to take three weeks. No, I'm kidding. Probably take a couple days. But it's going to be so much fun. So please stick around for that and subscribe if you haven't already. Please subscribe. Thank you to those who have subscribed already. And please give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate the thumbs up. And comment down below if you want to. I'm not forcing you to, but if you really want to, I mean... <sighs> but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I think I've said that like five times but I will see you guys next time and have a great week bye